is problem number three. It reads, a frustrated student threw his calculus book upwards off of a roof of a building 160 feet high with an initial velocity of 48 feet per second. With what velocity did the book hit the ground below? Use the formula h of t equals negative 16t squared plus v sub 0t plus h sub 0. And those values, v sub 0 and h sub 0, those are your initial velocity and your initial height. And those values are actually given to you in the problem. You just have to recognize that. Um, because it says that he threw it off of a building 160 feet high. So his initial height is 160. And it says with a velocity of 48 feet per second. So that is your initial velocity. That's what he threw it with. So we can plug those in. So we get our h of t is equal to negative 16 t squared plus 48 t plus 160. So we filled in our um, equation now. So it says we want to know what the velocity is when the um, cal calculus book hits the ground. So we first need to know at what time that happens. Then we can plug it in to find the velocity. Um, so at what time it happens is dependent on h of, h of t. So we know when h of t is 0, then our calculus book is hit the ground. So we set our value equal to 0. And here I'm going to factor out a negative 16. I'm left with t squared minus 3t minus 10. And I can factor this to be T um, minus 5 and T plus 2. So this is going to mean that T equals 5 and T equals negative 2. So these are times where our book would hit the ground, except for the fact that T equals negative 2. Remember, we're dealing in time. Time can't be negative, so this gets thrown away. So T equals 5 is the value that we want. So now we need to find out the formula for our velocity. And remember, h of t is our position function, and velocity is derivative of position. So if we take h prime of t, that would be equal to v of t, which in our case will be, and again, we're going off of this one, um, it'll be negative 32t plus 48. And that's just um, using the power rule. All right, and so now we know that we're looking for when t is 5, so we're going to have v of 5. That will be negative 32 times 5 plus 48. Negative 32 times 5, that's 10. 16, that's negative 160. Plus 48 will give me a negative 112. And if I look at my values, or my possible answers, that is answer A.